Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Claudia, haven't you gone out to get dressed yet? What's the hurry, Mama? Well, dinner will be ready in a moment. Good, I'm getting hungry. Say that again. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting starved. David, did you hear that? Hmm? What? Oh, yes, I heard it. She's just keeping a stiff up her chin, Mother. Why shouldn't I be hungry, pray? Because no actress is supposed to be hungry on the opening night of her play. Maybe I'm not an actress. At stomach, the very thought of food. Oh, cheer up, Mother. A few more hours and you'll be able to eat again. I'll never be the same. Why did I have to be afflicted with a daughter who wants to be an actress? And who doesn't have the sense to suffer her own stage fright. David, you're not nervous, are you? Nervous? I'm not the one who's going out on the stage. Why should I be nervous? Who's nervous? You think we're going to enjoy watching you make a fool of yourself, Mrs. Norton? Go up and get yourself ready. Yes, yes, go on. Oh, I, I'm ready. I don't have to get dressed up tonight. You're the ones who are going to the funeral. Now, that's a fine way to talk. Well, it's the way you're behaving. Honestly, if I didn't know better, I'd think you expected me to be a flop. Well, you don't know us better. Good. Mama, what are we having for dinner? Bertha has something cooked up. I suggested boiled eggs and noodles. Very sensible. But she looked wise and said she had something more nourishing planned. I hope you enjoy it. Must we talk about food so much? No, darling, of course not. Let's talk about something cheerful. Uh, what will we do after the performance? Come home. I think we ought to go out and celebrate. Celebrate what? Mama's right. We ought to wait and see. If the play's good, we can come home. If it isn't, then we can go out. Should be, vice versa. It should not. If it's good, we don't need anybody else but us, do we? Let's, um, let's talk about something else. Something that has nothing to do with the theater. What time do you have to leave, Claudia? Oh, uh, about 15 minutes or so. Maybe later. Doesn't matter much. Oh, we should roll all over. Courage, Mother, courage. I'll go see what's keeping dinner. All I want is a cup of tea. You know, David, I don't think that Mama's half as nervous about my having the baby as about my play opening tonight. Well, of course she wasn't. Well, you'd think that she'd well, After be... all, you, you didn't have the baby in front of 800 people, did you? I hadn't thought of that. I suppose that's it. Besides of which, Mama had about nine months to prepare herself for the baby. She's only had nine days for this birth. I guess it's worse being somebody's mother than just being yourself. It's worse being somebody's husband, too. Is it because you love me, do you think? An incurable disease, worse luck. Good luck for me. I wonder if I'm going to be any good tonight. Say, do you have decent seats? Best seats in the house. Whereabouts so I can blow you a kiss when I come on the stage? Last <laughs> row of the orchestra right on the aisle. What's best about them? Very strategically located. But you won't be hardly able to see or hear from there. Well, I'll see and hear enough. You know, sometimes I don't understand you at all. Well, you will, someday. When? When our son is elected to give the valedictory speech at his school graduation. It's an awful long time to wait to find out about tonight. You'll survive. Your dinner's ready, Claudia. Bertha, put it out on the table. Coming, David? Uh, might as well. Mmm, whatever it is smells good. David, your hand is like ice. Ice? It, 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 it is not. Feel it, Mama. It's like ice. I wouldn't know. You aren't nervous like Mama, are you? Me? Of, of course not. He's just nervous like he. Well, you're going to eat with me, David, aren't you? Yeah, sure I am. Look, cheese souffle and sausages. Oh, dear. What a wonderful dinner, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? To go on, help yourself. Take as much as you want. David, you're pale. It's uh, the light in here. A reflection of this cheese souffle. Yellow, you know. All the better. The more souffle for me. Mrs. Brown, your daughter was born without a nerve in her body. Mr. Norton, your wife was born without a brain in her head. Any self-respecting actress can't eat a crumb her opening night. Helen Hayes, Catherine Cornell, Lynn Fontaine, not a crumb. Oh, what a wonderful souffle. This bodes mm. no good. Claudia, don't you feel anything? Maybe I'm dead. 
Maybe I died of fright last night at the dress rehearsal. Maybe this is my etheric body. Uh, Maybe it's your etheric brain. Well, if that's what it is, it's wonderful. Nothing bothers me. It's just as if I were managing me for myself. David, Mom, I wish you were etheric, too. I wish I were dead. It's getting late. Not much more time. Well, I'll have to get dressed. I hate leaving you like this, David. I wish I could stay with you. Here, have a little souffle. Do go away with that stuff. Mother, make her take it from under my nose. Claudia, we are in no mood for games. Honestly, you'd think you were the actors, not me. Personally, I don't think you're much of an actress the way you're eating. Such a beautiful night for an opening. There'll be a moon and stars and everything's right with the world. Now, this is unnatural. Maybe we should call a doctor, Mother. David, maybe we could go for a nice long drive after the opening. Hmm? I wish she'd display some sign of life, David. I'm not sure she realizes what's happening. This is Norton. She, she, she eats well? The most delicious souffle, Bertha. You yeah. were sweet to make it. Oh, yeah. Souffle uh, goes down easy. I oh. wish you could get Mama and David to eat some, but oh, they yeah. just won't. I hope you and Fritz will finish it up. We'll, we'll maybe later. We'll, we'll... Not so hungry tonight. No. You're feeling all right, aren't you? Um, yeah, we, we, we just uh, hope you are a big success. Well, I'm certainly going to do my best. Uh, Fritz, he, he wishes to to talk to you if 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 he, if, if he may come in. Yeah, of oh. course, he, he he may come in. Oh, yeah, well, he, he did not wish to interrupt your, your, your dinner. But uh, I, I, I will tell him. What's she looking so upset about? I wouldn't know. Where are my matches? I can't find my matches. David, there's some on the table. They're right in front of you. Where? Where? I, I don't see them. Right there, besides the butter plate. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's funny. I didn't see them. What time is it, Mother? Almost time for Claudia to leave. Oh, we'd better get ready, too. David, it's... darling, you look so warm. Take your coat off. I feel fine, fine, just fine. If only it were tomorrow morning. Uh, Mrs. Norton. Oh, Fritz, I didn't hear you coming. I just come to say uh, we, we, we think of you. We wish you luck. Thanks, Fritz. I need it. Uh, it will go well. We pray for you. I wish you could come to the theater. Uh, we stay at home with the baby. We, we come another evening. Well, another evening won't be opening evening. Uh, it is better. Well, Fritz, I, I wouldn't mind staying home with the baby. You can go in my place. Uh, it is difficult for you, I know, Mr. Norton. But you will not be failed. I wish everybody would stop acting as if they were going to an execution. This is supposed to be fun. Yeah, maybe for you, but not for those who love you. They think only of the worst, so it will not happen. Bertha and I will be up when you come home. Then we will hear the best. Of course you will. Well, I'm going to run up and say goodnight to the baby. Then I'm off to the theater... And the next time you see me, I'll be in a spotlight. Mm. Aspirin helps, Mr. Norton. I have had four. I'm way ahead of you, Fritz. I've had six. Seriously, David, is it normal for Claudia to be so phlegmatic? Maybe there's something the matter with her glands or something. I think she's just putting on a good act so we won't be nervous. It's making me twice as nervous. Well, she ate her dinner. It's stuck in my throat watching her. David, it can't be good to be so calm. It's almost as if she were in a dream. Oh, she'll come out of it when she gets to the theater. She's been excited all week. Maybe she's got nothing left to be excited with. It's unnatural. Why is it Claudia can't do anything like anybody else? Here I am, fit to be tied. Mm. And she's going on as if nothing were happening. The price of motherhood. The price is too high. Well, blame it on inflation. Have you told her Julia and Hartley and Roger are coming up for the show? I thought it would make her nervous, so I didn't. Maybe I should. The unpredictable Claudia. If she's ever in a play again, I'm going to Kalamazoo. The baby's asleep. Lucky baby. He looks so sweet. His cheek's all pink. Must be funny to just lie around not knowing what's going on. You ought to know. David, you're not driving me over? No, no, I'll, I'll come over later. But if I use the car, how will you manage? I'll manage. I'll call a cab. Be sure you're not late, dear. Do you think I want to miss a second of it? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, you are. Well, I'm going up and get started. Oh, come on out to the car. Wave me goodbye. Since you've been in the theater, every slightest thing has become a theatrical scene. Oh, beautiful art, isn't it? Look 
There's our crow come to wish me luck. Now she's getting whimsical, Dave. Hello, Willie. Now, into the car with you, darling, and for once, drive carefully. Even if I don't care what happens to you, the rest of the theater does. And for the theater's sake, I'll drive carefully. David, please don't be nervous. Will you stop saying that to me? Never, because I love you. No, I love you too, so scram. Telling me isn't enough. Not in words, anyway. Oh, that's better. Actions certainly do speak louder than words. Well, so long, Claudia. So long, David. Come backstage during the intermissions, David, will you? Yeah, sure. Now, drive slowly. You've plenty of time. David, smile. What have I got to smile about? Me. I wish I was sure Claudia isn't in a day. Hey, Claudia! Claudia, watch where you're going! Oh, Mama, oh. she's into the hedge. Oh, she's no. into the shrubbery. Come on, Mama. Oh. Claudia! Claudia, darling, are you, are you all right? I'm in the fence. Are you all right? Are, are you hurt? I, I don't know what happened, except all of a sudden there was the picket fence right in front of me, right, right close. Oh. Please don't be angry, darling. Is she all right, David? I'm fine. David, say something. Darling, I love you. David, you're crazy. I am. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm crazy about you. Mama, what's gotten into him now? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, only you have just made me the happiest man alive. I'm dreaming. Now I know I'm dreaming. Well, darling, it's so good to be married to a woman who drives like a fool and who knows enough to be nervous on her opening night. But I'm not nervous. At least I, I don't feel well, it. Well, you know, for a while you had me fooled. But now, now I know that you're only human. So kiss me and slide over. Guess I'd better drive you to the theater after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, you are wonderful. Are there days when your appetite needs coaxing at noontime? If you'd like a refreshing addition to your customary meal, bring home a carton of Coca-Cola, put those six bottles on ice, and include an ice-cold bottle of Coke with lunch tomorrow. You'll agree it's much more enjoyable to lunch refreshed, and Coke is only a quarter a carton. Well, off they go to the theater. Well, with my fingers crossed, Mrs. Brown. And mine, too. You're going to the theater, Mr. King? I should say I am. Oh, dear. I hope it goes well. Oh, don't worry. I'm certain it will. What makes you certain? Just a hunch. Personally, I think uh, Claudia will really, tonight, act circles around Victoria Manners. Oh, come now. Miss Manners is a very famous actress. Mm, she may be a famous actress, all right, but when Claudia gets started, well, mark my word, she'll leave Miss Manners dumbstruck. You're very kind, Mr. King. Oh, not at all. You'll see. Uh, dumbstruck, I say. Heavens, I'd better hurry. Meet you at the theater, Mr. King. All right, Mrs. Brown. See you over at the theater. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr, and the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>